Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft in Round Rock, Texas. So excited today, I'm going to show you around the 2021 Tab S. This is the Boondock version and they have made some really cool changes from the ones you've seen in the past. And I'm going to show you all the details. It's 15 foot 4 inches long, weighs about 2,000 pounds, sleeps too, it has a bathroom inside. You're going to want to see everything that New Camp has done with this. Now if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and get to see all of our walkthrough videos on your favorite trailers. All right, so let's go inside and take a look around. Come on. This feels so open and so modern on the inside. Let's start up here at the front and I'll show you some details. The first thing I noticed coming in here is they have made these cabinets flush. They're a nice modern feel. The, the hardware is new. I love the little square push button latches. You push it in and it pops out, becomes the handle, opens up. I love the hinges open up all the way. Underneath this cabinet you've got a 110 plug and you've got two USBs and a 12 volt plug in. If you wanted to have something on your counter, uh, because of course your stovetop acts as a countertop as well, you can run appliances or phone chargers straight down through this hole that's uh, made in the counter for that. I think that's ingenious. Right underneath that cabinet is additional storage space. So you've got two nice size cabinets right here in the kitchen. This is an isotherm refrigerator. Uh, it is actually developed for the yacht, the boat, marine industry. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, but it is very different than probably the 12 volt you have used in other RVs. It is actually compressor driven, just like the refrigerator at your house. So this is going to get cold within a couple of hours and it is so efficient with your battery power. Now it's going to work off 12 volt or when you plug it in, of course, that power is going to charge your battery and keep this refrigerator cold. It's very efficient, very sturdy. When you open it up, it's a 1.7 cubic foot. You've got two door shelves and you've got a flip up freezer. It also comes with a little tiny ice cube tray. There is a control right in here to set the temperature. And if you don't want to use your refrigerator, you can turn it off. Just turn that temperature setting to zero. All right. I love the black front and the way this just kind of all runs together and gives you a very modern look. Right underneath the isotherm refrigerator is a drawer. Again, the same push button latch that it has on the cabinets, but how nice to have a drawer that pulls out instead of a little cubby in there. Great feature here, just adds to the great storage in the kitchen. The glass top stove, of course, doubles as counter space, but very simple to lift it up and it locks into place while it's open. It's got one smaller burner one larger burner, and the controls right here underneath the counter, uh, the glass top. Now it does have the sparker built in, so you don't have to go running for a match or a log lighter. It is all right here. When you want to close it, be sure to lift up this top and it goes right down flat and out of your way. The big window right here, I'm going to show you on the side how to open these where it's better filming, but of course it opens in front and has the blackout shade and the screen. This cabinet up here, you know, it used to be a lot bigger, but for someone who's taller, it was a little uh, cumbersome looking down onto the countertop. So they've made these a little smaller, put these sleek cabinet doors on the front, and when they flip up, they are almost as tall as the ceiling. 
The light runs from one side all the way to the other. It is an LED strip instead of a single light feature right in the center. So lots of space right in here. Okay, maybe not lots, but every little bit counts, doesn't it? All right, there you go. Now another thing you'll notice about this is that the walls in this trailer are white. They have made a change from the standard cream that had a little bit of a pattern on it and moved to the solid white. Uh, it does have a bit of a texture, kind of like stucco, but I love the way it makes it feel so open. And the white ceiling as well, which is a change. The other thing you might notice here, bathroom door is solid just like the wall panels. I love the modern handle here, the brushed silver. It's also a little unique in that when I open this, you don't have any of the latch sticking out here. As you close this, it doesn't have to drag along the edge. When it gets into position, it pops out. It's a magnet, so it latches the door automatically. Very easy to open and shut. Just push it back, it's out of the way, so you're not going to catch that on anything. I tell you what, let's take a look at the bathroom before we move around and take a look at what they've done with the back of this trailer. Okay, so standing here in the center of the trailer, it is five foot nine. Now I'm five feet tall, but I've got on a little bit of a heel, so right here in the center, you've got about five foot nine. When you step into the bathroom, it gets a little shorter. You lose about three inches because you do step up just a little bit. Okay, so most people are gonna wanna sit down when they shower. Uh, that's just unfortunately what you do in this space, but it is much larger than the previous tab bathroom. Now you've got a port window right here on the outside, of course, just with a twist. You can close that uh, glass and a twist. You just open it right back up again a mirror on this side wall, the light that goes on and off right at the top. What you will notice that is so different than the tabs you've seen in the past is the cassette toilet. The cassette toilet looks more like bench style seating, but it actually has a cassette in the outside that you can pull out and dump in any toilet or any uh, disposal station and it makes it so convenient if you are not camping at a traditional campground. So we'll talk about more on how the cassette works later, but know that it gives you so much more space in this bathroom and it allows you to have a sink right behind the toilet here. Um, there's a handle, that just a single handle for turning it on and off. Great for washing your hands before you actually leave here. Now the shower in this bathroom is very unique. The faucet that actually serves the sink in the very back lifts out and actually hangs right up here. There it goes, hangs right in that slot. Or of course you can use it as a handheld. So that really doubles as a shower head and when you're not using it, you actually have a sink in the back and it becomes the faucet. Ingenious, out of the way, gives you a lot more moving around room in this space. All right, I hope you like the bathroom. I'm gonna teach you more about the cassette toilet when we get to the outside. All right, the entrance door is something I like to talk about in New Camp because they really have a signature molded door. At the bottom, there is a bin, most people use it for trash, but certainly uh, up to you, with the fire extinguisher uh, set into the door panel. This is especially nice to me because very often it gets mounted as you enter into the camper, so it's easy to kick it, get bump it, and it falls off, the bracket breaks. So it's always right here mounted in your door, bungees for holding maps or books or papers, and the window, of course, has this wonderful blackout shade built into it. I just love this feel. It's useful uh, and easy to clean. The other great thing about this door area is that when you open the door, there's a screen that pulls across. So not only can you have screens on all three windows, 
a wonderful, fantastic fan in the ceiling to actually move air around, but you can also screen the door. It really opens up this space. All right. So let's take a look at the storage and the shelving. They've added nice, clean features up here, shelving on both sides of this panel. And this is going to be your monitor panel up here that is going to actually show you uh, the gray tank, the fresh tank, the battery. All of those lights light up according to what you're using. And of course, blue lights here when you've got the porch light, the accent lights, and the light above the sink. Water pump switches in here as well. So nice to have this one clean panel to do everything you need it to do. All right, uh, windows on both sides. I think, let me show you how they work. These are the acrylic dual pane windows. Uh, they are what you have seen in previous tabs. I love the way they open up. And of course, this has red handles, so it is designated as your emergency exit. You have to have one in every trailer, but that's why this one has red handles and the one on the other side as well. When you open it up, you tighten this latch to hold it wherever you'd like for it to go. If you want it just open two inches, you can set it there as well. Again, you've got the privacy panel and the screen. I have a preference of getting a little bit of air and a little privacy all at the same time. They latch together, really simple to operate. You've got indirect lighting right up here behind this panel. That's really great at night if you don't need a specific overhead light, but you need to find your way around in the camper. So indirect lighting is just a nice feature that you have on both sides underneath this panel and across the front. Great for really dark nights when you just don't need that much light. Now this trailer makes it so easy to make a bed. The way it works is you come right underneath here and pull the base of the seat straight out. You see how it's slatted? It creates the base for these cushions. Move the cushions down to cover it and you've got a full bed. You don't have any extra pieces to put together. It's all part of your seating. That, I think, is just a wonderful improvement on these trailers. Uh, there's also some storage underneath this seating. If you just lift it up, then the whole piece has a hinge, lifts up, to give you a little more storage underneath the seat on this side. Now, if you go across and you go on to the driver's side, it ha actually has some gear and some equipment in there. So you can access it but it really isn't storage. That's only under the passenger side seat here. Now, another thing I wanna show you is the Lagoon table. It is uh, able to swivel in any direction so it can get out of your way or you can tighten it up so it doesn't move. These handles right here actually tighten it uh, in any position you'd like, and they also raise and lower it. So you could have a little bit of height adjustment as well. The table isn't part of making your bed, so you can simply lift it up, set it down on the ground below you, make your bed, and it's out of the way. The top of this has that marble look. It's really nice, modern, high-end look, but it isn't all that heavy. It's actually made out of e-wood, which is uh, a lightweight wood, and it's actually sandwiched with some uh, block foam in between. So it makes it light and very, very durable. Again, the Lagoon table, what a great feature in here. You can turn this space into anything that works for you. Now, another change that you might notice if you're familiar with the previous tabs is that the back of this bed is split. Why is that important? Well, because you can actually raise and lower one side and not the other. Pull it forward till it clicks, hold on to the strap, and it lays down. So you could lay one side down, leave one side up. If you're a single traveler, that might work for you. Um, 
some people like the back at a different height because there is an option with these to put them halfway. So if someone's sitting up watching TV, someone else wants to lay down a little bit, you've got some different features there. I love that change. You know, anything that makes something uh, have more options of sitting or sleeping, it's always helpful. So let's fold both of these down and take a look at what's behind it because that looks a little different as well. Now with both seat backs laid down, you get a good view of the modern look that they have right behind here. This is a one-piece panel. I love the CNC cut here. Uh, a nice clean shelf look and when you lift this there is storage in there. Let's see it goes down about five inches so that's a pretty good space and when you're not using that storage this can be a great place to put a coffee cup, a book, your glasses, anything like that. Now the cabinets back here have that same flat front modern look that you see in the kitchen. The latches are interesting as well. You've got a latch right here that you just squeeze it and open it up. Right here, that's where your fingers go. Just give it a push. It opens up the cabinet and it stays out of your way. I love that. All right, this is about eight inches deep. Some good storage here and identical on the other side. The latch closes by itself, which that's great. So the speakers on the side are rectangles and I'll show you the stereo in just a minute, right over here in the back of the trailer. Reading lights just above it with a push button right on the top. The white ceiling, the white walls, the modern cabinetry, it just gives this trailer a whole new look. So on this side, you've got the storage in the back, a little cubby underneath, but the top of this section has your AM FM stereo with the HDMI, the USB port, of course, Bluetooth. Uh, doesn't take up very much space and does everything you need. New in the tab in the 2021s is going to be the microwave. Now this microwave, I love the way it's small. Uh, they say it's easy to clean, gotta love that. Uh, but it is an option. So you can actually have a cabinet here. The door will look just like the others, a flat panel, nice, sleek door. Uh, if you didn't want the microwave, that would automatically be here. The duct that I was telling you about for the AC is right up here on the side. And uh, this will be the standard connection for the Aldi, where you can set it to actually work the water heater or the furnace or both. The AC controls are directly underneath. These are both touchscreen. They're really very simple to use. Look for some videos in the future that'll show you the details on that. Below, the Jensen 12-volt television. Again, I love to point out that this is 12-volt. Uh, you do not need to be plugged into shore power to turn on this TV. So, uh, it, there is not a TV antenna on this, but great for streaming. Also works great with portable satellites. All right, so that brings us back around to the front. Up on the top, the LED lighting, and I think I had mentioned before, there is the fantastic fan, and this one you can set to actually draw the air out or bring the air in. It's just a great feature if you want a boondock and you're not running the air conditioner. Because remember, when you're boondocking, the only things that won't work are the AC, the microwave, and the 110 household plugs. Now while I'm here, let me show you right underneath, there is the converter, and of course that's gonna have your breakers and fuses in it. Next to that, a 110 plug, which is always convenient in the seating area, right? And the LP detector next to that. I just can't explain to you on video what a nice open feel this has. I think it's the perfect blend of retro and modern. They've done some great things on the outside as well. Let's go take a look at them. Now the modern look of the outside of this Tab S is really striking, very similar to the 400. Uh, the change from what they've done in the past is to put this trim only on the front and the back 
and on the sides, you get a flush rail. Normally, uh, trailers have a keter rail, kind of sticks out, you run the bead through it. This is flush extrusion here, much cleaner, no screw cover to pull out and deal with. Love that feature. All right, same choices in this trailer as you're used to. You can do a white or a silver exterior, and then the trim can be black, white, gray, blue, or red. Now the blue and red and the gray have changed a little bit. Uh, they're a little darker, so be sure to check those colors before you order if you're looking at a 2021 model. All right, the step is something that's very different. I love this step. It's very sturdy, and it's easy for me to put swivel in out of the way, and you'll notice the light goes out. When I pull this step out and drop it down, the light comes on. What more could you ask for? If you've got the step out, you're gonna wanna have a light on it, right? You can also see on this one the boondock handle. Now this only comes with the boondock model. And the same can be said for the off-road tires. These are 15 inch off-road tires. If you don't get the boondock model, that's gonna be a 14 inch standard uh, street tire, basically. Now, at the end, I'm gonna go through and show you all of the boondock features so you'll know exactly the difference between the standard and the boondock. All right, now back here, this is uh, a wonderful addition that they added last year. It is not new to the 2021s, but this allows you to actually take your lagoon table inside, lift it off the rail and slide it out, have it out here. That gives you an outside table to work with. Not only that, you've got a 110 plug under there in case you needed the table, plug in some extra lights, anything like that. But underneath right here, there is a gas port for plugging in uh, using your propane on the trailer for an outside grill. That is a new addition. It's right underneath the back, so it could be right next to your table. Perfect. You'll also notice there isn't a molded piece right here around the window. It is only a decal. Uh, there are some choices here. We'll go over the options and the boondock package at the end of the video. Let's look at the back because this is very different than what you're used to seeing. Uh, this entire molded piece has changed. I love the modern look, the modern feel, and the trim only goes on the top. Remember we talked about it doesn't wrap around and you get a very flush extrusion here, but the uh, visors and the tent rooms that you're normally slipping into a Keter rail work great on this. You just don't have that screw cover to deal with. All right, you'll notice this one has a rack on the top and that is part of the boondock option there. The boondock trailer is also going to have an aluminum brush guard on the rear as well. In the past, you would have seen corner guards, a seven piece corner guard, there is going to be an aluminum guard across the back. We'll show you a picture of that. We don't have it on this unit, but it looks like this. Now, one of the things I want to show you on the back of the trailer is these handles. You know, New Camp is known for their handles because they're so lightweight, you can push them around. But these are actually bigger, sturdier handles and really comfortable to grab, but they don't stick out on the camper. They're blended into actually this nice design on the back of the trailer. So I think that is a great change they made in 2021. So coming around to the passenger side, the exterior shower is right here. Of course, it's got a handheld and the hot and cold water. This is the vent for the Aldi system. And this is brand new. This is called a Nautilus water system. Now, the light here comes on uh, whenever you start uh, reaching in to turn things on and off because it is a motion sensor. You don't have to have a switch to turn it on and off. So uh, it was a little concerning when we shut it and the light stays on, but it does that until it detects that there is no motion. So if you look inside, there is the water pump switch in here uh, which will win help winterize the system. But you have two valves here, and I love that they put a picture there. You don't have to remember 
how it works. It tells you everything. If you want to put water in the tanks, which is on the left, or if you want to use your city water connection and have water go straight from the hydrant into the faucet, that would be the connection on the right. Um, underneath, it also tells you how to do it with the city water or if you're winterizing because it makes it very simple to winterize this system. You just kind of follow the directions here and you're ready to go. Uh, there is on the left a hot water heater bypass. I love that that is very convenient because if you're winterizing uh, or you're trying to drain the tanks, that's really important. Right there on the left hand. So everything is enclosed in this compartment. You do have a light so you can see really well. There is a, actually a hatch underneath where the water hoses, when you connect to one of these, can come right out the bottom of the trailer. That way this door can close, keep all of this water and weather tight in here. This is very simple. Close it and then the latch just moves to the left. Underneath you have the sewer hose connection and the pull for it right next to it. You do have a gray tank in here that you can drain right through here. The black tank will be done on the cassette toilet. We'll show you that in just a second. Your shore power 30 amp connector is right here and in front you've got the connection for the cassette toilet. Now cassette toilets are really concerning to a lot of people because they feel like it's kind of a hands-on system and it's quite the opposite. Instead of having hands-on back there with a sewer hose and a dump station, I find this to be very efficient and very clean. Uh, lift up the tab, pull this out, and you notice this has wheels on it. So you set it down, extend the handle, and you can pull it directly to a dump station wherever you want to go. When you're ready to dump it, of course this would have a cap on it, you swivel that out. You have places to hold it on both sides and you dump it. The button right here will release the vacuum and a little, a little air into the tank so it dumps easily. Set it back down, swivel this back. The latch catches right behind the, the little hooks right here. And then you slide it right back in. Now when you pull it out, it closes the top. When you push it back in, it opens up so it's ready for use very simple to use. Now, one misconception on cassette toilets is that there's no water to flush it with. But that's not true. There is water. Some cassette toilets, you actually have to add water on the outside so it has its own fresh water tank. This cassette toilet is plumbed to your 11-gallon uh, water tank. So the water that feeds the, the cassette toilet is an 11-gallon tank that actually feeds the rest of the camper as well. Very simple. You've also got a 19 gallon gray tank. The black tank here, five gallons. Now you don't necessarily have to wait for it to get to five gallons to dump it. Again, you saw how easy it was. Most people, you know, after a few days, they'll go and dump it before it gets all the way full. Uh, very easy to do that as well. So I hope that slows down some of the fears on cassette toilets. If you can dump a bucket of mop water into a toilet, it's really the same thing, only it's even easier. All right, I love the fact that the, the door here actually uh, closes with a snap. You don't have to lock it to get it to stay shut. And again, it has a seal in it, so it's water and weatherproof. Stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Now on the front, the boondock package has an aluminum tray. It stretches all the way across the front so you've got storage on both sides and a little bit more storage here in the front. The spare tire that used to be on the front of this tray is now mounted right underneath here. So this tub is brand new for New Camp, new on the 2021 models. You'll see it in the tabs and all across the board at New Camp. 
It's got a little larger shape, which accommodates the battery and the five gallon propane, but it also leaves you space for storage. Now, they're in the back, cut into the back of this, there's openings for your regulator and also the battery disconnect switch. Another thing you might notice is different here is that they put a gas prop on it, not because it's hard to open, but so it holds the top open so you can have both hands to get to the storage inside or do whatever it is you need to do. Works great. I love this new feature on here. Um, we did ask if it was something that could be added to an older tab. Uh, we always get requests for that. And you can change out the tray. You cannot change out this tub because of the regulator and the battery disconnect. So I hope that answers a question that some of you might have. So um, window in the front just like usual and the nice molded handles on both sides. You are gonna love these. Take a look on top. There is a 100 watt solar panel because this is the boondock package. So the 100 watt solar, it uh, wraps right around the front. Uh, so you've got a little bit of a different angle on two sides of that uh, and makes you a lot more sustainable if you want to camp off the grid. So now that we've made it all the way around, let's review the things that you've seen that are part of the boondock package. All right, the boondock package is, of course, uh, the larger off-road tires. It is the roof rack on the top, the handle that says boondock on it right next to it, an upgraded step here, and the aluminum grid that we showed you that isn't on this one, but will be coming on all the boondock packages, and the aluminum tray, and that 100 watt solar panel. That's the upgrade to the boondock package. Um, it is the most popular package that we sell here at Princess Craft, but everybody wants something different, so New Camp tries to accommodate. Let's talk about a few more options that you have if you're looking at a Tab S. You're gonna have choice of colors. Now the base of this can be white or it can be silver. The trim has some choices in a black, a gray, blue, red, and white. Now, this trim color has changed from previous models, so be sure you take a look. The blue and the red are a little bit darker, and the gray also is a little bit different. It's not metallic. It's kind of a flat silver gray. Uh, so take a look at that. I think they've really stepped up the colors on this. One more choice you'll have to make is going to be the cabinet color. There is the dark ash wood that you've seen in there, and then you can also go to the traditional tab, original cabinetry, which is the birch. So take a look, decide if you like the birch, or if you like the gray ash cabinet, we'll have both available. I hope we've showed you a lot of new things on this 2021 Tab S. We're so excited to have this on our lot. Um, if you'd like to see more walkthroughs, then go to our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. We do lots of walkthroughs on all the new things that are coming in. Until then, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV, and I look forward to seeing you next time.